Good day friends, welcome back to Numberland, where physics becomes simple, visual and full of fun. Today we will explore some very interesting ideas, equilibrium, stability, density, pressure and upthrust. These concepts explain how bridges stand, ships float and why some objects sink or stay balanced. Let's dive right in. Okay, now come to equilibrium. Equilibrium means balance. An object is said to be in equilibrium when the net force and net moment acting on it are zero. There are two conditions for equilibrium. Number one, when resultant force equal to zero, no linear motion. Number two, when resultant moment equal to zero, no rotation. For example, a book resting on a table. Weight is balanced by the normal reaction, a hanging sideboard, tension in the ropes balances the weight. So, in equilibrium, the object stays at rest or moves at constant velocity, not accelerating. There are two types of equilibrium. Number one, static equilibrium occurs when an object is at rest and all forces acting upon it are balanced, maintaining stability. And number two, the dynamic equilibrium is present when an object moves at constant velocity with all acting forces balanced, resulting in steady motion. Got it? Now the topic is stability. Stability means how easily an object returns to its original position after being disturbed. Now there are three types of equilibrium. Number one, in a stable equilibrium, when displaced, the object returned to its original position. For example, a cone resting on its base. The center of gravity rises when tilted, then falls back. To unstable equilibrium, when displaced, it moves further away. For example, cone balanced on its tip. The center of gravity falls when tilted. Object topers. Number three, neutral equilibrium. When displaced, it stays in the same position. For example, a ball rolling on the flat surface. What we got? The lower the center of gravity, the more stable the object. That's why racing cars are low and wide for maximum stability. Now the topic is density. Density tells us how much mass is packed into a given volume. We pronounce it as rho. It's equal to m divided by v. Rho is p density in kg per meter cube. m is the mass and v is the volume. For example, a metal block has mass 400 gram and volume 100 centimeter cube. Rho is equal to 4 gram per centimeter cube. Look at on the screen, that's denser than water, so it sinks. Objects float if their average density is less than water, that is 1000 kg per meter cube. Like ships. Section number 5, pressure. Pressure is the force per unit area, P is equal to F divided by A. Where P is equal to pressure in Pascal, P A, F is equal to force in Newton and A is equal to area meter square. For example, if a 200 Newton girls stand on a foot area 0 0.02 meter square, P is equal to 1000 Pascal. When she stands on both feet, area doubles and pressure halves. So, a smaller area greater pressure that's why knives are sharp and camels have wide feet now pressure in fluids fluids liquids or gases exert pressure in all directions and it increases with depth for example capital p is equal to h divided by rho g where H is equal to depth, 
rho density of liquid kg per meter cube look at on the screen and g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square for example water of density 1000 kg per meter cube at a depth of 2 meter p is equal to 19600 pascal that's why submarines and dams are bit stronger at the bottom now section 7 a thrust or buoyant force when an object is partially or fully immersed in a fluid it experiences an upward force called a thrust or buoyant force archimedes principle is the up thrust on an object immersed in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced for example if up thrust equal to the weight objects floats if up thrust less than weight object sinks for example ships float because their shape makes the average density less than water even though they are made of heavy steel ship designs buoyancy in shows ship remain stable on water allowing for safe transportation of goods and passengers submarine balance how Submarine adjust their density to submerge or surface, demonstrating the principles of buoyancy and pressure in fluid machines. Submarine balance. Air pressure. Weather systems are influenced by air pressure, affecting climate patterns and helping meteorologists predict weather changes effectively. Now the summary is equilibrium balanced forces and moments stability depends on base width and center of gravity density depends on mass divided by volume pressure is force divided by area up thrust is equal weight of displaced fluid these ideas explains why building stands floats a boat or a object balance That's all for the today's class on equilibrium, stability, density, pressure and up thrust. If you enjoyed learning, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Numberland. In the next lecture, we will explore more things. So stay tuned and remember the secret of stability is balance in physics and also in life. See you soon on Numberland. Thank you so much. Take care.